So, Judge Tracy Gilbert had the nerve to say that he uh, was considering giving my son up for adoption when I told that Austin was abusing Cynthia in her home and abusing me in my home at the hearing when I was incarcerated in family court because they were trying to make it seem like I was violent with Austin and I told Judge Tracy the truth and when I told him that Austin had been violent with Cynthia he was trying to say oh do I need to call foster care Cynthia threatened to molest him and he had all the information about why I was incarcerated for protecting myself and I was thinking about my home because they're trying to say oh the mother doesn't have a home after she threatened to molest my son and if you go to any CPS worker or any social worker and ask where Melbourne's parent parent is before you try to give my son away to somebody then you know that it's very wicked for anybody to be saying I will give your child away when you hear this mother screaming for her child and telling you that she took care of her baby and telling you that she went to jail for protecting herself and her son from this man and why would you allow any social worker or anybody to say I would uh, take her son and give her son away so they setting it up but first of all they threatened to molest him and that's a very vital part of the information about them coming through the courts and trying to accuse me of anything to keep my son they already threatened to molest him as retaliation and that was their only motive for even trying to take him and then lying through Tracy and saying that um that I, while I was incarcerated for protecting myself, they kept me in the jail trying to murder me before the trial and cover up the evidence and take my son and threaten to rape my son and lie about my pregnancy, medical records, and everything and have nobody in this country to represent me, nobody to care about me, not a family, nobody, not a man, anybody in my life to care about my case. And they took my little boy and threatened to molest him and decided that they would go to the courts while I was incarcerated and say that I didn't have any income but I had my own apartment that was leased in my name where me and my son lived for the entire duration of his life up until I had to protect myself from Cynthia's son and I hurt Cynthia's son in self-defense of me and my son after he ran us from my home attacking me after he had just got out of prison he came to my home attacking me and my son in our home and he was already in jail for assault he was in prison for assault and he got out attacking me and Cynthia took my son and said because I protected myself from Austin her son that had just got out of prison his father my baby daddy she said that she was going to rape my son um, behind my back with other racist people because Austin is white and she's white and my son is half uh, white uh, and black. I'm African and Indian and his dad is white and they threatened to molest my son as retaliation for me shooting Austin in the leg and they went through this judge Tracy to say that I didn't have any income and say that uh, at my apartment they said I didn't have any money and that um, I was incarcerated and she lied about why I was incarcerated and tried to say that I hurt her son No, and that she didn't know anything about him abusing me and that was a lie. She was helping the Montgomery County Police Department try to